Hey, what is up guys? In today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to mod your JJ Pro goggle here. Now, we're going to be doing the Fat Shark module mod. This way, it'll allow you to use any kinds of Fat Shark module, even drop down 2.4 gigahertz modules, and even anything else, as long as you can find the video output. So, what we're going to do is we're going to do a proper mod. It's going to be in a two-part video because I'm still designing the 3D printed part that'll hold the mod, and uh, it will be replacing the cover here, which I'll probably show you on the screen right now, and you're taking a look at. Now, the thing is supposed to be on top of that somehow but right now I'm gonna be printing this making sure it aligns perfect and then taking it from there so the mod is supposed to be on top currently so that's why it's gonna be a two-part video but today we're gonna to show you what you need to know to get going with the mod so let's get started first what you want to do is you want to remove the two screws up here and then pop the holder for the head strap next you want to flip this over and with a Phillips head go ahead and remove the two screws you're gonna find one here and one on the other side Next, you want a 1.5 millimeter hex driver. I recommend these. I'll have them linked down below. These are super awesome, titanium coated, and they've lasted me for about a year now. All right, so you want to go ahead and remove the bottom screws here. Once those two are removed, we want to flip this over and remove the other two here. Once those are removed, you want to go ahead and lift this up slightly right here, and you could find one screw here, another screw there, and another one here, and another one here. You want to go ahead and remove those. All right, once those four screws are removed, you just want to, it just comes right off right here, so it's really nice. Next thing, you want to just start slowly opening this just slightly. The top will come right off here, and then the front will fall. Now, be careful, the front has the LCD screen and the ribbon cable here. You don't want to ruin that. Now, these side plastic pieces will just come right off, so you can go ahead and remove those. Now, here what we have is the power from the battery coming in, so we want to disconnect that little wire right there. All right, once that's disconnected, we still have the wire for our receiver, which is plugged in down on an IPEX port. Uh, so just push this over to the side and just be extra careful. Next, we can go ahead and remove the lens here. And we're going to have four screws. I've already removed them. Oh, actually, they're still there. They're 1.5 millimeter hex screws. We want to go ahead and remove this. This is just a cover right here that covers the diversity module as well as the LCD drivers. All right, once all four screws have been removed, you can just lift this right up. And we can take a look at the main board here. Now we also do have a little connector right there, which I highly recommend you remove as well. And just, just like so, it will be removed. Now we can push everything to the side. Here's the IPEX port for the antenna. So we're just going to pop that right off and push everything to the side here. And let's take a closer look. All right, so once we've reached this step, we want to go ahead and remove the LCD here. And the way we do that is we pop this open, just slightly push these black pins up here and you should be able just to easily remove this. Now we can push this to the side. And here we have the main board. Now this is the speaker that's on the bottom. So this does have a speaker here. So we can route the Fat Shark module's audio to this speaker if we wanted to. This is an RX5808 receiving module. And if we take a closer look here, we see that the PCB is black and it's been, it was a little bit difficult to trace everything out. But what's so cool about this, now some things you need to know, we're not going to need any external step up module now this takes a 1s input and it does have a built-in step up converter to 5 volts which is powering this rx5808 now we have a couple ways to do this one we can remove the rx5808 receiver in here or we can remove that little resistor for the audio and we could take the 5 volts from here all right so for the mod to work we need to first trace out the video and the video would be the second one right here and now the video is being traced all the way to this little resistor right here and it's being piped out that way so what we can do is we can remove this resistor and use the pad on the left to route our video input from the fat shark module now for ground and five volt this one right here would be ground and we can just immediately take the five volt from this area since it it's going through the step up converting circuit and we'll keep the fat shark module off when the board is off and once booted it'll boot the fat shark module along with it now the five volt is going to be so we're going to have ground video audio i think rssi and then this would be as i believe uh ground here so yeah that i mean five volts so that's five volts so the one two three four five so the fifth pin from the right is the five volt and this is rssi audio video and ground so we can take ground from here five volt from here and then we can give it the 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 audio from here but the audio i still haven't traced it down but we can see where it's going to go in a little bit all right so next up for me i'm going to remove the board out of the case here and i'm just going to remove the video audio wire right here so this is the audio connector which is connecting the audio so i'm going to go ahead and remove that real quick 
And uh, we're gonna need a 1.5 millimeter hex, hex driver. There's four screws, however, I've already removed two and I'm just gonna remove the other two real quick. Okay, so now that we have the board out, I brought three wires. I brought a red, black, and yellow. Uh, so red's gonna be the five volt, yellow is going to be the video, and then ground is going to be the ground. So let's start with the ground. The ground's gonna be all the way on the side here, so let's just go ahead and solder it. So currently this is the proof of concept until I finished designing the 3D printed part like I did with the Eosheen. So it's going to be a two part video like I did with the Eosheen um, VR006. So here I'm adding a little bit of solder just to have it stick and I'm going to grab my black wire and I'm just going to solder it in. Alright so since now we have the ground wire soldered in we want to go ahead and find the 5 volt which is going to be the 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, the 5th pin from the right side here so we're gonna say one two three four five so it's gonna be this one and I'm gonna add a little bit of solder to it right here okay so we have one two three four five yep and I'm gonna grab my red wire which is going to be five volt for the fat shark module make sure it's not bridging perfect so now we have five volt in ground so theoretically our power is done Next, what we want to do, since the video is being piped, which is that one right there, the video is going into this resistor, and this resistor is pushing it into this IC here. So what we want to do is we want to pop that resistor off and use the side on the left to solder our uh, yellow wire here for the video. All right, guys, so what we wanted to do here was actually not pop out the resistor. We wanted to pop out the capacitor. So let's just take a look here. Now, what you want to do is there's the resistor up there and then there's a capacitor right below it. So what you have here, the, the battery is going to die. Um, so yeah, I forgot to mention in the video to ignore that capacitor in the way I was just doing some other testing and I just left it there. Uh, so just completely ignore it. You don't have to do that step. Just stick the wire from your uh, fat shock module straight to that left pad and you're good to go. So yeah, I do apologize about that. It was getting very late is the resistor and the capacitor. What we want to do is you want to remove the capacitor and then on the left pad of the capacitor, bring in your video input. And as you can tell here, I have a fast shock module. Now, if I switch over, we're going to lose signal as you can tell right there. So yeah, so that's how you do it. So you need ground from that last one right there, five volt from the fifth pin, which is one, two, three, four, five, five, which gives it five volt. And then the video would be if you pop off that capacitor, and on the left tab. So before the, the battery dies here, and I'm currently working on the design, and it should be ready within a couple days. Uh, it needs a little bit of work here. Finalization of this mod will be in the upcoming video like we did with the VR006 uh, here. So I'm gonna pop this open, there we go. If you remember the VR006, this one will be a little bit more, this will be a little bit nicer. Uh, and this will be a nicer mod here because the, the way that I'm developing it or the way that I'm designing it, I should say, uh, should be overall very nice and clean. All right, guys, well, that's going to currently conclude it for the proof of concept. So it does work. It's working perfect. So in part two, we'll finalize this whole thing all together. We'll see which way to do it. Maybe we'll even add a switch to switch between the internal and external right here. So that would be kind of interesting. We'll see if that'll work. And um, if you guys do like this content, please consider joining my Patreon. A dollar or two a month can absolutely go a long way and keep the channel afloat. And especially if I helped you purchase something or avoid an ESC or purchase an ESC from my testing, that'd be absolutely great. Or you can use the links down below. Those greatly support the channel as well. And well, that's it, guys. I'll see you in the next one. Peace out.